Are you ready? Ouch. Oh, I'm sorry. Butt. Apparently I'm a butt. I've been a butt all morning. I've been kind of a grouchy butt. Mm -hmm. Is I need coffee. But I don't mean nothing by it. How many racers are in this race? Two. Oh, what? What? Just us two. Yep. <laughs> We're racing one and two. <laughs> you're going Over down. Over 400. No, nope, you're going down. It's just one and two. I'm gonna just, if she gets in front of me, guys, I'm snickered in the ass with my pedal. And not the pedal I'll be boarding with. <laughs> Pre race thoughts? A wee bit nervous. A wee bit nervous. saw today is in the morning I didn't really get a good like introduction to the story of what we we're gonna do today because today was a badass kind of day I don't know if you can tell by the shirt that I'm wearing it says stand up for the hooch and they're not talking about the hoochie they're talking about the Chattahoochee we did my, at least my very first time a paddleboard race but let's even say that a step further back and do my very first time ever on a paddleboard and they this venue this event was such a cool event it's a big non-profit charity event you go in you pay like 45 bucks for an entry you get a nice shirt nice hat uh you get a little food and barbecue afterwards but the main thing about it is you obviously go on a two or six mile race and we did the two mile race it was a lot of fun and all the proceeds go to you know cleaning up the chattahoochee because it's not the nicest water in the world so it's our way of giving back and supporting our little our state uh, up here in the ATL. So, so much fun. Um, Lauren and my mom, us three went. We went there. My mom and I had never paddleboarded before. Lauren's had some experience, so she was kind of like helping coach us. But as soon as I started getting out of the water and standing up on the board, I started getting my balance, and I was just ah, 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 just trying to get after it. And I was so proud. My mama at first was like, I'm just going to go to the island and turn back. And I was like, hell no. You're not quitting on me, mama. You're not quitting. And she did the whole thing. She went a mile out and a mile back in. And I was super, super proud of her. I uh, can't wait to do another one. Then afterwards, my phone had died because my, as some of you know and seen in the prior videos, I have a GoPro and a full setup. However, part of my setup has gone missing. And I don't want to blame anyone, not at my gym, because the last time I went to the gym with my vlogging setup, it was at a different gym. I'm not going to throw names out there, but it might have been in North Cumming via the Anytime Fitness up there. Um, so I'm sure you could figure it out. I'm not saying someone did steal it there, but that's the last place I saw it. And I just had my bag, put my bag in the back. On the side, I had my tripod and everything else that was with it. And when I came back... My shit wasn't there. So either I am a magician and hid it for myself and I'm super good at doing that, or that someone might have snagged some pretty good gear. So I had, I've had i been using my phone for like the last week, two, three weeks uh, for vlogging, and my phone died, so I'm sorry, so I couldn't take a picture or at least a video of the event afterwards. Um, but yeah, great, great experience. I can't... Lo and I were talking, this is something cool to bring up, is that when we were there, it was like a, going to a snowboarding mountain. Everyone's there, everyone's chill, everyone's having a good time. No one's there to like boast or, you know, dick measure themselves. 
everyone's out there to have fun and just be around good people and good times. And I remember there was one girl who was having lunch by herself, so we sat by her. We got to know her. her name was Marissa. She was really, really cool. Really cool. Um, really cool to be able to sit down and just have conversations with people. We met two Filipino guys, and they actually were in Athens the day before. If you don't know, I live out in Athens. So it was just kind of a feeling of a small world and just being a part of a community where just people are going to look out for you. And I know, like I was saying, that we'll do it next year, and both of them, them being my mom and Lo, were like, no, nah, we're, we're doing this again sooner than in a year. So hopefully we can go on some more paddleboarding excursions. But we're home. I had to cook. I uploaded by now. If you're watching this, if you go on my Instagram, Elrod One, um, you click on the link. You can follow my program that I'm going to be doing for the whole month of July. It's all about losing body fat and building muscle. And this is how I'm going to start doing these. Is just every month or every you know so often when I redo my workouts, I go on Google Drive, type up a new program, and then share the Google Drive document. It's not going to be porn. It's not a link to Pornhub. Um, it is going to be my workouts and exactly what I'm doing and that way you guys can follow along with it so it's open to leave a comment so you go in there you can say Elliot you know I don't agree with this superset and this superset because X Y and Z and I believe by doing so we all could share and we all can benefit from it so with that being said if you're in the tribe go click on the link print out the page and just try the workout for a month why not you're gonna get gains from it because it's all muscle confusion it's going to be sets of like four sets of 8 to 12 reps. And then as the workout progresses, it's going to get to like three sets of 20 to 25 reps. So a lot, a lot of volume this upcoming month. I'm looking for a good change. And I'm just, I found my groove, guys. Found my groove. And I'm ready to smash it. So let's start smashing this shit.